I have approached the British government to restore the Security Sector Reform Action Plan with the previous administration. Throughout the window. That was President David Granger this afternoon when he addressed the Private Sector Commission's annual general meeting. The plan dubbed the Security Sector Reform fell through when the People's Progressive Party administration and the British government didn't see eye to eye on a number of issues. The president admitted that the country needs the assistance to address crime. We are part of the continental landmass and we're not going to get rid of transnational crime overnight. Our borders, our 2,500 kilometers of borders, are susceptible, are vulnerable to gun running, trafficking. British High Commissioner Greg Quinn confirmed that the new government has asked for the plan to be revisited. There's several bits to this. One is, is the agreement as it's now, what, eight, nine years old, still relevant? Um, and does it need updating? And of course it probably does need updating. And then how we go about meeting the request from the President, both in terms of updating the original action plan because I think some little bits of it have actually been done bilaterally as we've moved forward over the years. The High Commissioner said that the process will take time. We've got to sort of go back in the UK and figure out who it was who actually did the original assessment, find out whether or not they're available to do a new assessment, how we then do the new assessment, the timing of getting people out to do the assessment. So I don't want to give you a specific timeline. I certainly don't think you should expect something in the next few weeks. Okay. Is the money still available? Um, good question. I don't know the answer to that. There will be funding available. I just don't know on what basis, because um, the, the funding originally was coming from DFID. Um, whether or not there is new DFID funding available, I don't know. Security sector reform created in 2007 was cancelled in 2009 after there was much debate between the then government and the British about who should have oversight of the plan. For Prime News, Nazima Ragabir.